Finance Institute was set up last year as a result of a green finance task force, which was established by the government, which is looking at how to green the UK society. I like to make the difference between London as an international capital market centre, which is doing a huge amount in the green space, and the UK, which has been, has been in a good space because of the UK Climate Change Act from 2008. But in terms of nomenclature and descriptions and taxonomy of investment instruments, um, it's not there yet. So I think the city has been very, very at the forefront of looking at ways to um, finance green and to green finance um, at both. Um, there are a huge amount of innovative products um, that the London Stock Exchange is launching, green bonds where we are world leaders, um, and a depth of capital in the UK um, that I think the Dutch um, are particularly interested in looking at. From the Dutch side, there's over 1.3 trillion um, in assets under management for pension funds, some of the biggest in the world, are based here um, and they have a very very deep relationship with the UK so there is a lot that we can do on financing and what I find interesting about both countries is that forward-looking investors in both places are really looking at ways to address this agenda because they want sustainable investment for the long term. Strategy here on investment is not to buy and sell buy and sell it's to take and hold. I think the financial markets have been making progress but we have to take heed from the IPCC report, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change report, published last October, showing the difference between 1.5 and 2 degrees. We have to start acting in pace and accelerating our efforts through finance. My experience, having worked in the financial sector, is it's not one thing that will change our focus on greening finance and financing the green. There are so many different things that have to change. And the Green Finance Task Force, which was originally set up to think about supporting the clean growth strategy, I, one of the, the, the points that I brought to those discussions was, as chair of the Environment Agency, what's the point of investing in energy efficiency if it washes away in a flood or melts in a heat wave? And I think where we've got to from a climate change perspective is we need to be thinking about this work in the round and the many, many different interventions that need to take place. So the Green Finance Institute, located in London, in the heart of the city, will be a great space, a safe space for some of those discussions that need to take place, bringing financial regulation together with the banks, together with the asset managers, closer also to some of the environmental regulation to make sure that we're shifting at speed. This is all part of the rise of purpose-driven finance, purpose-led finance. Green bonds, I think a very, green finance is a very important part of it, but it's not the only part. And I think it's what Society is saying, we want to know what the value of money is, we want to know where money is going, we want to know what the purpose of money is. It's uh, reduced its emissions by over 40% whilst growing the economy by two thirds. So one of the best records of the, of the G7, showing that we can have uh, emission reduction and clean growth at the same time.